yeah so open hub ods enable the data modeler to integrate external data into bw without need to stage the data first okay so open ods okay. is an uh, bw target where you can extract the data okay or enable the data modeler from external data into bw without staging the data right so okay, okay so we will create and uh, now how we can uh, create open hub ods in bw for hana on top of a financial ledger data okay we will see okay. i mean the data flow for this okay even we will see basically a direct data access features it has it has a uh, data flows with open ods view we will say how to generate a process okay. from the data flow so let's go into the system yes yes so now we will into the hana studio so on a hana studio you have to select your uh, info area and right click on your info area you will go to the new in that you will have a one option called open ods view click okay. in this it will ask info area name and you can add as a favorite and you can put it here open ods view any name you can put it jet jet open views i have given the name or v1 or v you can open ods view and you can give some name I have given the name here. Okay. Now you can have a copy. If you have any template, you can copy from there. Else you can leave it this one. Now you can see proposal. You can have an option yes. create with proposal. So you can select. If it is not, you cannot require. It. But let's see here. We can go with the create with proposal. Now you can see we have a semantics. There is a three part of semantics like fact, master data, and text. So here we are going to create an open hub, open ODS view based on facts. Okay, and click next. So it is saying already exists. So you can put some other name like ODS v1. I am giving here. Now click next. It is also saying it is already available. So let's I am putting here one two. Okay, click next. Yeah. Now. You will have a multiple sources type here. So you can create open ODS view based on different types of source. Either it would be BW data source, database table or view, database table views, virtual tables using HANA smart data accesses, big data, DSOs, advanced, even transformations. So you can use any source to extract the data from uh, S4 HANA system. So I am going to create a open hub, okay, based on your source system that is called okay. data source, data source. Okay, so we will create here data source. So before going to create a data source, we will have a, we will have to check a data source is direct access or not. As I told in this, Basically, the PPT here it is have an option. Okay, direct access features. It has a direct access features. So you have to check the data source which are creating the open DSOs. Okay, so you have to check it supported or not. So let's I am giving here one example: financial laser, general laser. So one of the standard data source zero FI GL. Four. So it is supported or not. First of all, you have to check it. So you have to go into your system, BW, BW4 uh, system, uh, S4 system. Okay, I'm logging into S4 system. Okay, and go to RSA 5 or RSA 6. 
I'm going into RSS 6 and checking the data source available or not, which I'm trying to create a open ODS view top of the data sources, standard data source okay. you can find here. So let me check once more. Okay. or you can go RSA 2 with the T codes. Okay, okay. here you can check your data source. It's saying it is not an active versions. Okay, so why? Okay. Because the, we are putting some wrong value. See, it is okay. giving 0 FI. Yeah, this is the data source. Okay, now you can see. Yes. Now it is displaying. Now come to the extraction tab. Now you can see here direct access. It is one that is supported. It means if any data source supported directly data can access into your open ODS view. Okay. So okay. this data source basically supported. That is the uh, way we can check it here first. The data source is supported or not. So that data source FIGL 14 is supported. So we are extracting the data from data source called FI okay. data source, standard FI data okay. source. So I okay. am creating, so I'm creating a ODS view top of financial data sources, FIGL data okay. source, okay. okay? So you can create as a source data source. You can select the first option, go to next and search okay. it here. I'm searching the data source here. Yeah, we yes. have a already 400, okay? We have a source system. Client is S4400 client, so I am selecting this and click next. Okay, click next. Yeah, you can see here. Okay, you will have here technical name, descriptions. Okay, we have a log read access output. If you require, you can check. Otherwise, it's not required. Semantic, you can see fact. We are create. We are created a open ODS view based on fact. You can create yes, yes. mass attribute and text as well. So we have created here on fact. So you can see okay. that source name, source system called like a distended data source would be here. 0, F, I, G, L, and 14 okay. would be there. If you want to edit, okay, okay. you can edit it. Or if it is not edit, okay, not an issue. You can go for that next tab called fact. You can see here left panel you will have all the source system fields are given here source system fields okay. data type length everything would be here now okay now view okay. fields these are the field you can see view means all characteristics key fields key figure currency unit everything is going to categorize into separate folder here you can see you can if you want to find anything you can here type you can find that Okay, so all the characteristic field is will be under view fields. Okay, so once did you have to activate check first if it is everything is fine. You can you can check here pro problems. Uh, okay, everything is seems okay. Now you have to activate it. So we are going to activate your open ODS. So you can see open hub ODS is activated successfully. So name is dead ODS underscore v one two. I have given the name of the open ODS. Okay. So now it has been created. Okay. So now I am going to create a data flow. Okay. For this. So how can you create a data flow? Right click on your info area, new, then you can see data flow objects. See, it will ask you the name of the data flow. Okay. I am giving here data flow. Okay. So ODS. Okay, I'm giving ODS. ODS view for data flow. Or you can put something like data flow for open, open ODS view. Data flow for open ODS view. Okay, and you can click finish so your 
data flow is going to create. So you can see here we are creating data flow. Okay. So okay. now, okay. So you have to drag drop the data source first. Okay. So you can see here already we have a data source. So you can just add it. Right click here and add the data source. So what is the data source we have it? That is zero F I. Yeah, that is zero F I G L underscore fourteen. Okay, see. 400 is there okay so you can select 400 yeah you can see your data flow is still data source is created here now data flow now okay. we are going to create open ods view so already we have created here just drag drop here and what you need to do just right click here and you can add it no need to create because already we have created so Jad okay. open ODS V12. Yeah, you can just click see it is created. Yeah, yeah. Right. So what you need to do, just check this and activate it. Yes, you can see data flow. Yeah, it is activated. Okay, without any issues. So you can check this data flow under this tab here. Data flow would be here some data flow objects you can hear you will see the name of the data flow see last one data flow ods this one okay you should double click this it is successfully okay now as i told you ods view open ods view is a virtual target right so there is not required to create a transformation or dtp to load the data into virtual target so as i told you okay the data source is data source is direct access so data okay. is directly accessed from your source to your system your open audio view okay. so how okay. you can how you can reconcile the data so let's come into the system called s4 hana system okay so there is a okay. t code rsa3 okay here you can put okay. your data source name and check the record eight records are there right so okay. click execute, you can see the data here. See, hmm. see, there is eight records are here available. Same record, okay, without DTP, okay, the data should be there in your open ODS view as a virtual data, okay, as a open okay. ODS don't have to store the data physically, okay, it's a virtually at the direct access, as I told you, this data source yes. support direct access. Okay. okay. So, so let me go here and I'll show you. If, if you right click here, okay, or you double click on this. Yeah, if you double click on this, you can go here, you can check the data directly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me I'll show you the data. Yeah. So let's see. Let me show you. See all the order. This is a reporting view. I am going to clear date. Okay, so whatever the data you GL, see a file GL, there is some reason code. So whatever the you want physical years, you can see whatever the data, you can check it here. You can see here all the, let's see a clearing okay. date. We have it, we have a GL account number. Okay, so, so all that okay. you can show here everything. You can filter, if you need to filter it, you can filter here based on your requirement. So, so mainly what I would to like to say here, so basically open ODS view is a virtual target. Okay, it can't okay. store the data physically. There is not required to create transformation in DTP. Data directly fetching automatically. Okay, that is you can say a uh, real time data is coming directly from your SAP S4 HANA to your BW system. So. So this is the reporting scenario. As I told you, you can see this is the, I mean, data is directly coming here. You can check the data. If you want to check the data, you can check the data here. See, all the data is coming here. Whatever the, whatever the data in your ECC or S4 HANA, all the data is available, okay? Without loading the data. We are not loaded the data into, yes, yes. okay, into this uh, S4 uh, BW system. So automatically you can see data is there no need to create so this is the data flow basically to uh basically uh 
to have a data from S4 HANA to this. So how you can check, uh, I mean, what is the source data is coming, you can right click or you can see double click on this or you can go just right click, double click, you will see okay. source data source. So this is the data source in the real time. So you have to check it from which source data is coming. And second things you always you keep in mind the data source which access the directly access those types of data source can support and those kind of data source only possible to use to create a as a source for open ODS views. Okay. Okay. So this is the we we have a open ODS view. Okay. Even you can see there is one button. Okay. Here we can see here one button is there can process and generate. If you want to generate, you could double click on this or you can, you want to create check this and you can create a process chain for this. So you can see get PC open ODS. Okay. You can see here PC for open. Okay. And you can see here asking, I mean, for which data flow. So I would like this data flow. Click continue. So you can check the data a process sense how it is generating into the automatically generation is also here so you can check it here Yeah, you can see here your process sense look like is this is the process sense automatically it generated. Okay, okay? it is already uh, automatic generated. Okay, see so if you want to okay. add, if you want to add anything, so you can add it here. Okay, so this is a basically have a process sense. So we will discuss later in the depth of the process and how we can create how it to use. So basically, yeah, yeah. this is basically is a how we can generate a process sense. So here we have a uh, like a options you can generate the data flow based on this process chains okay you can have here option you can see you can lay out you can change it see like this you can change it so this is we have a basically the open hubs 